right, so this is Deanna King. Before she was a star on the Brother Wee Show, she was a reporter here at News 8, and I grabbed this video because um, she'll love it. Anyway, this week, each night, a new interview with a local radio personality. Tonight, my friend Deanna. We start with how she transitioned from this to radio. I started blogging. Um, and kind of writing about what it's really like to be a parent because, you know, on Facebook, everyone's like, it's so wonderful. We went pumpkin picking today and Samuel was great. No, Samuel wasn't great. He cried the whole way there and you know it. So I started telling stories like that in my blog and then another radio host in town, actually, Tony Infantino, saw the blog and, like, wanted me to come on and just talk about being a parent. And so then I kind of got the real... The bug. I decided that it was at that point that um, I really wanted to be in radio. I loved the fact that I could give my opinion um, and that people actually wanted to listen to what I had to say. I have shared stories about how I've struggled with depression and I know like from the outside you think oh she, you know oh she's always laughing and she's got that loud obnoxious cackle and she's laughing and everything's great but I've shared stories about how I've struggled with depression and I've had people you know write to me and how much that helped them because they you know thought oh I never thought someone like you could go through something like that what happens from here um well I'm gonna run for Congress no. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, what happens from here? That's a good question. I, I don't know. I mean, sometimes I think about whether or not I'd ever want my own show if we's ever retired. Maybe, but then again, you know, I, I feel like in life you're always looking for a new challenge, so who knows? My, my father has had health issues, and I truly try to just live in the day, and I'm trying more and more to focus on appreciate what's happening now and not even think so much about what's going to happen five years down the line. I'm not a spring chicken, okay? Yeah. I pay to not have any expression on my face. That's how old I am at this point. Anything else you want to add about, because we're really just thinking about radio, but if you want to venture outside and, and talk about juggling everything that you have to juggle, that's right. tough. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I think, I think the thing with uh, working in radio and then, you know, um, being married to someone that's you know was in politics or you know recognized for military service people expect a certain thing of me and um i'm not that person i'm not one that's going to keep my opinion to myself so that has been a bit of a challenge i've received some criticism because you know i'm not the quiet demure you're not you know lady in a dress that's just going to sit quietly and accept everything that people say so that's been a challenge my kids see that I am doing something that I love and they can appreciate that and if it means me not being there in the morning you know my son my 12 year old son will send me a message every morning and will say just so you know mom you're the best person on that show um, and just like him supporting what I do and knowing that like mom has a career and that's okay so that's that's a good thing <laughs> All right, so you know Deanna, I know Deanna. Tomorrow, it's Johnny Mambo, who I didn't know. He's the morning radio host over at Poder through Ibero-American Action League. My gosh, that's great. He has such a great story. Just a few years ago, he was in a bakery. He had given up on his radio dreams, and now, boom, so I get to tell that story tomorrow.